people watch the movie Goodfellas and, you know, Jimmy Burke, the movie's about and his son was uh, one of my best friends, stayed with me. Uh, I'm the one that uh, brought the word to the family when he got killed in Brooklyn. Uh, I went to identify the body at the morgue with his sister, Kathy. Uh, and, you know, I worked and I did some work for, for his father, who's dead now, Jimmy Burke, when he was in prison. Uh, me and his son killed two guys for him. Uh, so these are movies for other people. For us, it's reality of our life, right? That's our neighborhood. Those movies are made off of, you know, guys like ourselves. And, uh, you know, is the movie depicted accurately against Jimmy Burke? I don't think so exactly, but the violence is. And, uh, you know, what we did was, but uh, it's just not a, a good life and not, not, not the conducive to having a, a good future. It's a future with pain and uh, suffering uh, along with the money, but there's a consequence to the money. It's just not worth it. You know, I tell, and I, I try to tell kids that every day, uh, the, the way you're going to, you're going to live your life in that lifestyle is through uh, murder and through jail time and through losing family members to that life and treachery to see dishonor, not honor. And uh, you're going to be betrayed like I was betrayed uh, by my family and by uh, the mafia. And, you know, they'll spin that in the media and nonsense. But I tell people, look at the timelines and you'll see while I was sitting in those penitentiaries in Brazil, what these guys were doing to me. They were all meeting government and ratting. And uh, honestly, I'm not surprised by it now that I'm out of that life. When you step back, uh, people want to individually uh, survive, right? They're never going to take their lives and put it secondary to yours. So, you know, it's naive to believe that someone's going to do that. Right. Yeah, that's uh, that's very tough. And I, I feel that if most people knew that at the very beginning, they may not have joined the mob, correct? You know, if, you know, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but yesterday uh, I did an interview. Somebody contacted me from the White House, uh, an independent news uh uh, journalist, and he was going to write the article about my involvement and relationship over at Mar Lago and pictures I've taken with uh, Donald Trump and different people. And, you know, people asked me, you know, and they, they wrote the article, they insinuated uh, about the mafia and my past and uh, Donald Trump. Uh, basically, what they're saying is he had knowledge of mob guys and he was involved. And, you know, and I understand the journalist is to try to do his job and he's going to write. Uh, obviously, he's trying to write against the president. Uh, I have a lot of respect for the president because he's kind of reminds me. Uh, to me, he's a hero for this country, for America. He's a pro-America, pro-veterans, pro-police. And I'm an ex-gangster that says that. And I walked away from that life 15 years ago. I was betrayed by my family. 